today in our studio, we are going to talk about a book that's incredible and it's changing the lives of women all over the world. And we have the authors here today, so I have a question for you and I think that's their question on this book. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wanted to have a closer walk with the Lord, but maybe you felt like your past failures have disqualified you? I'm going to tell you, I know I have felt that way. Today we have Cynthia Cavanaugh and Andrea Tomasi with us. They've written the book called Live Bold. And I just want to, let me start with you, um, Andrea, and just tell us. Now, this is your first book. It's my first book. It's my very first book. First, I want to thank you for having us here. It's yes, such a great honor so to much. be able to talk with you today. It is my first book, and you know, it, it's ironic how it happened. It just started off as a six-week or eight-week online devotional that we were going to do for women. And um, it turned, actually, Cindy said to me, uh, you know, one day this is going to turn into a book. And she's a seasoned author, so I've always admired her just resilience and her um, her passion for getting the word out to women. She's kind. She's <laughs> <laughs> now, aren't you related? She didn't pay me to yes, say that. Yes, we're related. We're cousins. We're cousins. Oh, we're my cousins. goodness. We're cousins. Our moms are sisters. Yes, so. yes. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd come together and write a book? No. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Definitely a God thing. Yes. Definitely a God thing. We've we walked through similar um, paths over the last eight to ten years. And so I just I just think God knew that when we were little kids. And, well, yeah. I'm nine years younger, so I'm little yeah. kid. She wasn't. <laughs> She's going to rub that She just had to say that. Wait, let's do a poll. But she, doesn't, she doesn't look it, right? <laughs> Oh um, so it's just, it's just been an amazing opportunity to be able to kind of ride on her coattails mm -hmm. and have her show me the ropes and um, we're just really, really proud to get this message out and um, tell women that no matter what you've done, no matter what shame or guilt you carry, you can just put all that aside That's because right. I just, this tells you who you are in Christ, not who that little voice tells you you are. So. I love that. Cynthia, why the title? I love it. Live Bold. It's simple, but it's a big message. Well, I think we as women have trouble seeing ourselves as bold. You know, we, mm -hmm. we can be people pleasers. We want to help everybody all the time. And especially if we've had hard things happen to us, you know, yes. we kind of lose our confidence mm -hmm. and we lose our courage. Right. So it's actually something I live by, live bold, because I'm really not a bold person by nature. I'm more of a, uh, you know, maybe, you know, I'm not a mud girl or anything, you know. And so um, I just live bold. It's a confession of faith you know, a confession right. of faith that I want to live bold for Jesus. So that's kind of how we just mm -hmm. landed yeah. on that, that we wanted the, this to be a collection of stories from both of us mm -hmm. and encouraging women how they can live bold for Christ. And I know that both of you are involved in your church and your ministry. Your husband's a pastor. Are you finding that even women that go to church, you know, week after week after mm -hmm. week, I mean, are you finding that they need something like this that they can strengthen themselves with? Because even in the church, mm -hmm. even when we're doing great deeds, yeah. I feel like sometimes life hands us a challenge yes. and we just get knocked over. I know I've gone through that myself mm -hmm. many times. That's why I love this title. Um, it, are you finding that that is your audience as well? I think it's a great portion of our audience because I think just because we're in the church and we're Christians doesn't mean we're exempt from suffering and life trials and and we're supposed to know the answers because we're believers and we have the Bible but but we get discouraged and we feel defeated and I think everybody needs encouragement when they're right. facing times what would you right. add to that I, I would say that I think the struggle that I see and not just in the church just with women in general is that sometimes our hearts don't match our minds so I often say, you know, my my um, my head is here, but my heart is back here. But I know eventually, if I go with what the truth is, no matter what I feel, my heart will eventually mm -hmm. catch up. That's good. I right? love that. So, See, yeah. she's a wise, she's a wise cousin. I love that. And you know, I think that so many times, and maybe you're, you know, watching today, it's really easy to get our eyes off of the Lord. Yes. And God has so many great promises, and He wants to use so many of you the way He's used them here today. But we have to put our eyes back on the right. Lord. Could you tell me, um, how, how do I partake in this book? Is it something, I, I love the cover, and you have this little opening yeah. <laughs> on there. Is it something that we're writing in every day? Uh, well, you can write in it every day. It's it's designed so there's 12 themes. Like so, we've talked about and prayed about what are some bold prayer prayer. How do we live in bold prayer? How do we live in bold faith? How do we 
bold trust, identity. bold truth, bold identity. Mm. And so it's, it's organized by themes. And so there's one reading per week. And the reason we did that is because we want them to be able to, the readers, to be able to soak in the truth. There's scripture that goes with it. And then an action step to apply that, that truth for the week. And then they journal mm -hmm. the thoughts and feelings out throughout the week. Well, I know that lives are gonna be transformed by this. I have to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm in a ministry, and having something once a week feels like mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. that I can do and not feel overwhelmed. Yep. Too many times I think there's a guilt, right. like if I'm not doing it every yeah. single day, I'm exactly. not living my life the way Christ intended. But you know, I know that you're tuning into this. I know you've been touched. Um, you have got to look them up. We're going to put their websites and information um, on the screen in just a minute because I know their ministry is going to touch you. But I would love for you, Cynthia, if you could just take a minute, just pray for anybody that's sure. feeling kind of weak and maybe distant from the Lord. Just encourage them that God wants them to live bold. Absolutely. I'd be honored. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are the reason that we have our hope and that you you are the one that gives us the power to be able to live bold in you, to rise yes. above our circumstances, and you give us promises and truth, and you're writing our story so that we can be bold women yes. for Christ. So God, if there's women on the other side of this screen that are suffering from struggling with depression, anxiety, loss of job, just feeling discouraged and defeated. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will hold them up mm -hmm. high, that they would sense your breath, even as close as your breath on them, God, that you would just envelop them in your arms. And so we thank you, God, that you promise that you are true to your promises. And so we ask this in your most holy name. Amen. 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 Well, I just know your lives are going to be touched. You know, reach out, get this devotion, and begin to do something. Allow the Lord to touch you and use you. Don't you dare think that any past failures can hold you back for the plan of God, that uh, the plan that God has for your life. I know He's going to do great things in your life.